All right, guys, let's win a new car. Man, I hate junk mail. I swear I do. It's uh, <laughs> I was gonna throw this in the trash, but I thought to myself, thought, nah, you better just, just go ahead and scratch it and see, just, just see. Okay, so we want a pile of money. We've got a big pile of money right here. Okay, does that mean anything? I don't think so. If your symbol matches the winning symbol inside, you're guaranteed, you're a guaranteed winner of one of these six prizes. No gimmicks. Maybe I'll win another key. Oh, well, you know, I won. I won. I guess I'll go down and pick up my new... Uh, who is this from? Is this... Oh, that's a Dodge. You get a new Dodge. Now, we got another game here. Scratch off. Credit acceptance. And this is from Suzuki. And I got a little thing. I can start my new car right here. I guarantee you I'm a winner with that. So we'll, we'll keep that to start a new car with. Limited time only, April 25th. Blah, 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 blah. Scratch off here. Scratch and match three. If you match three symbols, you're a guaranteed winner. Man, this is my lucky day. I'm going to have two brand new cars here. Let's see what we got. Well, we got a uh, some kind of new car there. How about this one and the other ones? How about these next two are just the same? I'm a winner of, of two new two new cars today, probably. It, that's the way it's looking. Yep. Yep. I guess I can get rid of all my Volkswagens. I get rid of all my Volkswagens because I just won two new cars. That's funny. Man, I tell you what, they talk about going green, but they keep on uh, they keep on sending that stuff in the mail. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, winning all those new cars put me in a pretty good mood. Uh, so I decided I'm gonna I'm gonna get on this I'm gonna start on this 102. I'm gonna go ahead because I'm sure and I'm gonna have to access the rear end of that clutch assembly. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the deck off of it. So I have a little bit more room to work and then I'm gonna pull the motor out of it. It's probably take a while for me. Because I don't uh, don't work as quick as they used to, that's for sure, but uh, we'll get started on it. Alright fellas, I'm going to take this voltage regulator off and uh, set it back around to the side. i got to get this, uh, I'm going to take this hood and grill off and it's going to be, uh, instead of taking all the wires loose and trying to do all that, I'm just going to take it and put it away. I'm going to go ahead and put these bolts back in here so I don't lose them. Alright gang, I got the, uh, the, the hood is ready to come off, the hood and grill. I've got to get the PTO linkage loose, and I'll get that off there. One thing I want, you know, I'm going to be in here so far into this thing, I'm thinking, I, I'm seriously considering doing just a light touch-up paint job on this thing. I, I'm not going to tear it all down, but I've got so much rust going on with this thing here's my question can anybody lead me to where I can find these stickers because the hood would be easy to do the whole thing if I can get my stickers now I can take these off and paint around it but I don't well fellas there it is that's uh that's the cub with the hood off of it man I had a hard time getting these bolts out of here there's so much junk in there I had to uh really kind of dig around and find the heads of the bolts to uh, to get them out of there I've got to deal with this rust it's it's a uh, it's gonna it's gonna eat my tractor down but I pretty much guys I pretty much decided not to sell it unless I have to um, if I'm gonna do all this work to it I might as well I might as well keep it it's just the way I think I don't know <laughs> It's one of those things where, you know, are you going to get any money back out of it? If I'm going to spend upwards of $100 to, to build this clutch and I try to sell it, I'm not, not really getting any money back out of it. So, we'll see. See what happens with that. I'm uh, moving along here with this project. I'm trying to get the air filter off of it so I can get all my linkages 
for my choke and all my on the back of the coil I got some wiring I need to get that off of there and I'm I'm labeling I'm labeling this stuff as I go to make it quicker when I put it back together like I've got for my starter generator wires I want to label those it's just going to make it uh, quicker when I put it back together don't stop to figure everything out where everything went well there it is gang uh, now I'm getting to where I can uh, get to the parts that I need to really take out of there I need to get that clutch assembly out of it front to back uh, there's cub yellow under there <laughs> believe it or not it was preserved by all the grease and whatever there's the uh, there's the old motor we'll keep plugging away at it guys I made a decision I'm gonna go ahead and paint it I, I can't really justify not painting it at this point uh, it's it, it, it needs it really bad and I've got all the parts off of it I'm gonna I'm not now it's not gonna be a whole resto this that's not my goal but uh, I've got to paint it it's just it needs it too bad and I've already got all of this taken off of it um, and all the gunk grime big pile of it there scraped out of it I'm gonna have to yeah I'm gonna have to paint it I, this wasn't part of the plan but I can't put it back together like this not not with it uh, all rusting down and everything so yep we'll paint it all right guys here it is I finally got all this uh, taken out of here man it is this um uh, hi buddy it's in a mess. This is, I don't know if you can see it or not, it is chewed all to pieces. It's going to have to be taken care of before I put it back. The whole thing, I mean, when I was, I know it's not going to do any justice now. You know, for me to, let me get that coupling off there. It's not going to do any justice now for me to try to show you what was going on. When I had... When I had the, before I took the coupling off the transmission, took all this loose, when I would turn this clutch, it was uh, grinding in a terrible shape. So I'm going to have to, uh, I can't duplicate the, you know, what it was doing here on the bench. But take my word for it. It is a mess. It's making awful racket, so. It's definitely in need of rebuilding. What I'm going to have to do, and I'm not going to do it now because I don't have anything left in me. Um, i got to start the disassembly process and find out exactly how much is torn up in here. You can see, I don't, well, I think you can see in here a bunch of broken spring and stuff. So, it's, uh, it's, it's a wreck. So, we'll... Uh, on the next video, we'll we'll dive into all that and see. But I can't. These springs are all overlapped and jumping over top of each other. It's really hard to say. I'm definitely going to be putting a throw-out bearing, a new clutch on it, uh, and we're going to be uh, we're going to be doing some paint work. I can't. Let's just take a look at the cup before we close up shop here. There you have it guys, look at it. Nasty, grimy, dirty, uh, rusty. I don't know how many other adjectives we can throw in here on this, but um, I just can't put it back together like that. I can't do it, it, it it's, it's a good old cub it needs to be. It needs to be painted, so yeah, we'll see what happens with that. We'll, we'll see what happens with it. It's, uh, it, it's, it's gotta be done, it's gotta be done.